Yeah, bit of an update on the blonde group. Just a little focus. Um, I don't know if I can get it to focus on those red, big red tails. One of them came from the pet shop with a pear. And one of my friends thought they were a flamingo? I don't know. They're blonde with red, orange, yellow. That guy there. Put a little bit of yellow on his body. Um, I got a group of fry from this one's mother. Here he is hiding way back there. Anyway. And this other one I got from another friend of mine. And it's got snake skin on his body, so he's really cool. I really like him. These guys are going to get split out in a couple of months. So I'll have a tub each and a couple of girlfriends each. So they're coming along nicely. Um, black moss gals. Where is he hiding? Got a couple of... I think there's like two fry in here. Here's my male. One female in here. The other females are up in the other tank which I'll show you in a minute this is currently the only lot with an actual I'll try and back up without falling over wood on the floor with an actual light because the bottom one has stretched so the bottom lot doesn't have a light at the moment new connectors are coming for that random boys I was going to put these up for sale, but now I'm not, which I'll explain in a minute. Random grow out, need to have a water change today. There's some interesting little guys in here. The one there, I think, the ones with the half black and yellow, and half black and white. I've spotted a couple of those babies. They come from... Half black red in here. Not him. Not him. Where is he? Oh, that is him. He's a half black, and then I've discovered that gold on his head is actually the platinum gene. Yay! So, anyway, he's going to get one of the platinum, the white platinum females, so I can see if I can get some more platinums out of him. Anyway, hold on, I'll just turn the rest of the lights on. Okay, so, bit of an update. This was the Japanese. Uh, not Japanese blue, Asian blue tank. <sighs> Long story short, worms. What do you call it? Calamaris? Yeah, they were dropping like flies. I treated them twice. Gave them the tonic. Didn't help. Just kept on dropping. So I ended up culling them, sanitising the tank and filling it up. This is the Flamingo fry and the platinum fry mixed because they should come out completely opposite, totally different looking fish. And there's a couple of swords and platies in there as well. Um, Japanese blues, most of the fry are in the other tank at the bottom, and I've got another fry with the, another tank. Oh, sorry, just trying to go around pipes. Another tank where the females are all in traps. Now I've realised that I may have messed up. What I forgot was the satin... What were they called? Satin deltas that I was sold. What I totally forgot was that they had some fry in the same tank as these guys when they were first born back in January. So I may have accidentally mixed the Japanese blue and the satin deltas, which would kind of explain why all my Japanese blue fry are coming out blonde. It's not an overly bad thing, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what how that comes out. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I must have that up. Uh, black Moscow females in the breeding trap, which works really well. It's just a V at the bottom. And in here I spotted three or four fry in here yesterday. 
Oh look, hang on, I can zoom in. There's a tiny little fry. There he is, he's tiny. That is a little black Moscow, only 24, no, 48 hours old. So, when I checked last night, there was three. Just three from these females. I'm not sure which one. Three. Dear gods. Um, the white platinums. It's not going to focus on them. My camera's being a dick. All right. Now, I had a few issues with this tank as well. Both those males clamped up about a week ago. I treated them with Wonder Tyke. They were in a container on their own. I treated the whole tank with Wonder Tonic and they seem to have come right, thankfully. And another one, these are so slow to mature. Actually, that one there. This decided he doesn't want to be a girl, he wants to be a boy. He is only just, and these were born back in January. Oh, that piece of the tank is still. See? Cloudy. It's actually the glass. Second hand tanks. Anyway, so they're finally not clamping. They still don't look 100% happy. That one there. He's still not 100%, but he looks a lot better than he did. Mud guppies. More mud guppies. Grow outs. Some interesting colours coming out there. This one is an experiment. A friend of mine said to me, the best way to, you know, grow plants, keep everything healthy, was plant it. So, I have planted it with soil out of the garden, topped with sand from our local lake. That's my naughty that I like to do. I've got to sort out a light for on top of this today. It has released... Oh, it's only going to show up from back there. It's released tannins. Tannins from hell. But I've got two flamingo babies in there. They are the guinea pigs to make sure everything's running okay. It's been up for about a week. Really need to get my glass into gear and put a light on there. Um, Mutt guppy grow outs. Really need to sort through those. I'm going to split that tank into that tank, so there's more mutts there. Uh, it's really dark down here because my light's not working. These ones are all Japanese blues. A lot of them are blonde. So, yeah, I'm going to work on that. And these are Asian blue fry. They were pulled out and put into there like a week before the tank started getting sick. So, yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. Hi, so update on my fish. You know, last one I said, you know, I've been sick and we had a few problems with ammonia. And, yep, then I got worms and some of them came down with all sorts of things, especially my tank inside, which I can't really, I've got a bit of a video, but it's not particularly clear because the light just bounces in the living room, something chronic. Um, I've had to colour a lot, a lot. I did treat them with two different products for worms. They've had Wonder Tonic. I've treated it with um, salt, salt yesterday. Today they're going to get Wonder Tonic again. Uh, I've lost a lot in there, which really gutted me because they were all the males that I wanted to put out in summer tubs. Um, it is what it is. It sucks. I almost considered giving it up last week because I was like losing so many left, right, and centre. It was just, it was doing my head in. It really was. But we're still here. I'll keep going. You know, I've half built my fish room, so no point quitting now. Um, so we was going to go to Rotorua on the 15th, but I'm not going to be going now, which I'll announce on Facebook when this goes out, because I don't believe I'm 100% on top of the worms. I wish I had a microscope to actually look at the dead fish and actually know 100% what it is. I really should save up for that. Um, yeah, because I don't want to risk spreading this to anybody else's tank 
basically had a good sale set up for a good amount of money would have done a lot of work in here but I've said to her look wait hold out I don't want to infect her tanks so she's been really good about that um, I wasn't really going to say anything about this but Michael from Michael's Fish Room just did a, a video this morning that I saw where he's had to do the same thing you know cull a whole tank full of his muck guppies because he's got the same problem so and someone mentioned on his that it could be fish TB I assume it's in New Zealand I would assume it is so I'd love to actually like actually get them looked at under a microscope like I said to actually know 100% what I'm dealing with I do feel like a complete noob when it comes to these fish but I'm learning and I'm learning fast so that's pretty cool um, it's kind of weird really being a noob at something again after doing rabbits for so long I could say I knew what I was doing with them, not a problem. Um, yeah, that's all. I'll give you a quick tour of the goldfish outside. I fixed a couple of the tubs out the back. Gonna hopefully get a couple more done today because it's raining over the weekend so I couldn't do them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the update. Oh, oh, gotta show you this. I'm so pleased with this, hold on. I got my outpipes working. Oh my god, instead of taking four hours to do these tanks, and there's one over there that needs water change today, one hour, now it's just siphoning, if I can find a pipe, this one, so cool, really easy, it is already primed, turn the tap, turn it open, goes out, and it is... Yes, I know, held down with a bottle, of, box of empty bottles. And it's just over that lip, so it goes out over the driveway. <laughs> and my husband was moaning that he kept on tripping over all the hoses. So, the hose goes over the roof, under the, the door at the bottom there. goes up the wall, over the roof. It's a little rough, as you can see it hanging. And... And I found a few of these pieces in a box in the cupboard. So handy. Drop it in there. I turn it on like a quarter of a turn. So I can siphon one tank. Yeah, siphon one at a time. Refill the other one. And I don't have to go in and out of the garage to turn on and off the tap. Oh, that was a relief to get that done. So yeah, these guys are getting way more water changes because it's a uh, way way quicker so yeah um doesn't look very pretty but it works i'm so wrapped with it anybody with more than like five tanks i recommend you do this such a time saver anyway i'll show you the goldfish and um yeah catch you in a minute i wish i could get underwater footage it wasn't really cool Anyway, this is just the runty goldfish from last summer. And they're in there because I've got them for sale. Um, yeah, well, hopefully those will go soon. I'm going to sort through these guys shortly. I don't know if you can see them. The sun's re everything's reflecting. I'm going to pick the ones with the longest tails. They're not coming up at the moment, but anyway, I'll show you around the back. Nobody on that one. This weed's going really hollow. This is when you get out of the streams. Does not like tropical water, just so you know. And my lily's coming up well. I've got to fertilise that one soon. I've got to put two more legs on that one. Oh, my mess hidden around the back of my carriage. Okay, this one is my next one to fix. I did this one the other day. And I even put the overflow into it. It does just overflow underneath, but that's okay. My fans are in here. Where are they? Here they are. He was stuck, there's one male and two females. He was chasing them around the other day. So I split them out because they were in with the runs. 
um, yeah, hopefully we'll have fry from them this spring. Looks like a tornado is headed out here. Jinx and Thor getting into everything as per normal. Um, yeah. So that's about my update. Um, slowly get in there. Let me know. Have you had problems with worms? What did you treat them with? Did they survive? Did they get better? I'd love to know because yeah, um, I've lost a lot in the last couple of weeks. Mainly mutts, so it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, comment below. Have you had problems with worms? Have you had TB in your fish? I'd love to know. Anyway, like, subscribe and all that YouTube-y stuff. <laughs> See you later, guys.